the snow. Here's my dog Salem. Don't go in the water. Say them. Say them. Come on. She's gonna go right in the water. Say them. Okay, I had to get the dog before she fell into the water. I don't think she realizes that it's water because the water level right here is very low. Oh, this is so beautiful. I love the snow. <sighs> I mean, who doesn't love the snow? I mean, it's so pretty to look at. So, oh my God, I have my, my dad gave me this huge um, snowsuit that used to be his. <laughs> he bought a new one, he gave me this one. It's really ugly, but you know what? It's warm. I'm trying to prop my phone up here. I don't want to get it wet. How's that? Now you guys can watch it snow. Uh uh. You, Missy, you stay with me. So, this morning, you guys, guess what? I woke up at like 2 30 in the morning. I had this wicked, crazy dream. Um, I dreamt of earthquakes. Salem, over here. Sorry, I brought the dog down. I'm going to do a video and I'm going to keep saying her name because she keeps wandering. Where was I? Oh, this morning I had a dream. And um, it was crazy. It was scary, actually. I woke up at like 2.30 in the morning. And in my dream, uh, there was earthquakes. And they were heading all the way up to the North Pole. Now these earthquakes, I seen them, it started in Hawaii, moved across the water to California, all the way, like up through the states going towards um, Alaska, towards that way. I should have, I, sh I should draw a picture of how I seen it. But it, it, uh, it was like a straight line, a straight red line, and it was zigzaggy like this, zig, 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 going all the way up through the United States, heading towards the North Pole. And all of a sudden I woke up, and all I could think about was, wow, that was intense. I was drenched in sweat, you guys, drenched. My pillow was wet, my bed sheets were wet, my shirt was soaked. I had to take it off, that's how wet it was. It was completely soaked. Excuse me for a second. Salem! Salem! Don't go too far! Sorry. Having a dog is like having another kid. You gotta watch them. Make sure that they don't wander off. Um, I have a chow and she's turning three and she's not as friendly as she used to be when she sees strangers. When she was younger, she used to like everybody. Now when she sees strangers, she growls at them. It's weird. She's a friendly dog. And now all of a sudden she's like moody. Must be hormones. She's a female. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so that dream was just intense. It was insane. I woke up, I was sweaty. It was about 2.30 in the morning. And I was like, what is going on? And I know that there's these energy waves that are hitting. Salem, come over here. And, you know, I'm very sensitive to energy. So 
when these energy waves come in, I can kind of, I can kind of tell because I could feel it. I could feel it a couple of days before they actually start to come. And so I looked on the on the Schumann resonance this morning, and I noticed that there was a blip in the graph. There was some activity, and I checked the amplitude, and it hit the note 69, I believe it was. It, it was at a 2, a 2 point. The amp was at a 2 point, and then bam, it went up to a, a 69. Like, <laughs> literally, from 2 to 69. There wasn't a gradual rise, it was just a huge jump. So I thought, wow, yeah, here comes the wave. And this is not just one wave. These are wave after wave after waves coming in. I mean, we, we're going to have waves of energy coming in all month long. The whole month of December going into January. They're going to be intense. So, you guys, just, you know, make sure you're hydrated. Uh, check your thoughts. Make sure that you're not thinking negative, especially um, that your bodies might be hurting and you may be feeling, you know, a little bit depressed or down and out. And on top of that, it's the holidays. A lot of people um, have lost loved ones through the holidays or don't have somebody to spend the holidays with or, you know, can't afford the holidays. So, you know, there's a lot of depression going on for some people and there's a lot of happiness and joy going on for other people you know this is a magical month there's a lot of uh, magic and hope you know it's Christmas season but you know not everybody feels the same about it so with that being said make sure you check your thoughts because as these ascension waves come in we start to experience you know these symptoms. We start to feel body aches and pains and, you know, emotionally we start to feel depressed and down and out. And, you know, we're purging. We're, we're integrating this light and our bodies are detoxing this, you know, this third dimensional carbon base, you know, mass. And we're integrating into these, um, fifth and sixth dimensional beings of light. We're integrating our crystalline body. Our DNA is awakening. Parts of our DNA that scientists call our junk DNA is now waking up. It's now receiving information from the sun. The sun is sending us light codes, light activations. And um, those light activations are talking to every single cell in our bodies. And um, that will, you know, have us experiencing these symptoms of feeling dizzy, lightheaded, lethargic, confused, um, thirsty, gaining weight, losing weight, you're having mood swings. Uh, one minute you're super happy, one minute you're super sad. You could cry at the drop of a hat. You know, you, you, there's a lot of emotional stuff going on. Um, and then with your body, you know, everything's going to just start hurting. Lower back pain, upper shoulder pain, neck pain, migraines. Um, there's just so many things going on, you guys. It's just so many things. And, you know... As the light comes down and we receive it, we are waking up. The more and more people that receive this light, the more and more of the people are starting to realize what's going on. They're, they're, they're realizing um, what's in this reality, what's in, you know... Uh, other paradigms, other dimensions. I mean, it's just this awakening, you guys. It's just this amazing, amazing awakening that's happening. And, um, I don't know. I just feel like, I feel like the sun, because 
look at it right now. It's, well, you know, I think it's for something anyways. The sun would normally be going down about this time anyways. But we haven't really had a lot of sunny days. They've been chemtrailing our skies, covering up our sun. There's an agenda. You know, they're creating this aerosol spray to spray in the sky to make the sky foggy. Uh, I believe that they are messing with our weather. I mean, look at it. I, we haven't seen snow in New York like this in years. This is early. I've always dreamed of a white Christmas. Well, November, we haven't had snow like this. In December, I, I can't remember the last December that we had snow like this. Um, I'm always saying I would love to have a white Christmas. It's usually just cold. And it snows a little bit, but it doesn't sni stick. Snick. <laughs> getting tongue twisted over here. I'm getting zenned out looking at the snow as I'm talking to you guys. Um, yeah, so, you know, the sun is being covered up. And I, I believe the agenda is so that we don't receive these light codes. So we don't wake up. So the masses stay asleep. However, the sun, now the sun is like, you know, uh, the sun is everything. The sun is our life. The sun is power. And these people, the secret society, the secret government, whoever they are, they're creating like a firewall around the earth so that the sun can't get through to us and give us the information that we need, right? So the sun is like, fuck that. You know, I'm going to hack your firewall and blast in some information. And that's what the sun is doing. If you check out the uh, websites, um, Oh God, what's the name of the website? I like to look at MrMBB333.com. Um, his information is in my description area, by the way. He has this awesome website. You can see the Schumann Resonance, the, new, the, the moon phases, the, the solar activity, the solar you know, wind speed, everything. He's got everything on his channel, so you don't have to keep searching around. He's got everything. It's like a one-stop shop right there. And uh, so I checked out... The, the sun activity, there's a lot of solar flares, you know, a lot of uh, coronal holes that are forming. There's this one massive coronal hole right now. If you look at the picture that's on the website, the coronal hole is so ginormous. And if you kind of turn the, the picture or your cell phone to the left, I think it's to the left, and you really look at it, it looks like a dragon. It looks like the outline of a dragon flying. It's a huge coronal hole. Man, when that sucker blows out all that energy, it's going to come straight to the earth. And we're going to receive this like huge wave. It's going to break that firewall. You know, these little um, mass ejections that are coming off the sun that are hitting us, you know, we're, we're getting up to a K7 experience, you know, a little bit in the red area for a very short amount of time. Those are little blasts to the earth. You know, but they're, they're enough to, you know wake some of these people, but there's going to be one big ginormous hit to the earth and it's going to wake us all up. And that's the one that's going to hit by 2019. And we're almost in 2019. And the biggest change spiritually for all of us, one of the biggest awakenings for the masses is going to be in 2019. That's why the secret society is doing this to us. The, 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 the secret government, you know, the earth is waking up and they know it. The planets are, are around us, you know, they're communicating, the stars, the universe, you know, it's, it's all communicating. We're all communicating with each other subconsciously. And as this energy wave comes in, consciously we're going to become more and more aware of this. But... I'm working on some content. I want to come up with a video. I'm already hitting 15 minutes and I'm a little cold.
My hands are cold because I had to wipe snow off of this table and grab the dog a couple times here. <laughs> so my gloves are wet now. Ah, my phone fell. Not cool. Not good. I was just going to show you guys my gloves. They're not waterproof. Sucks. But, um, yeah, so stay tuned for a awesome video about Ascension. And I just got all my notes wet. <laughs> Go figure. All right, guys. Thanks for listening to me ramble on. I'm also working. I'm editing a yoga video that I did today. And I caught some really awesome orbs. Some blue orbs and a white orb. Very active. And they move around like crazy. Like one comes up to the camera. It's like... And it's just like swirling around. And then it stops and then it just dips. You know, it goes left. Um, but I'm working on editing that video right now so I can show you guys how awesome it is. All right, guys. Say bye, Salem. Look, I had to lock her up. Yep. The trick. See my beautiful snowsuit, you guys? It's huge. It's heavy, too. I think I'll... If I could walk around in this snowsuit for an hour up and down those stairs, I think I would lose 50 pounds. What do you think? Yes or yes? <laughs> okay, I'm going to go because I brought my camera with me and I want to take pictures of the snowflakes falling out of the sky. Bye, guys.